Your book, Sepia Dreams, mm -hmm. uh, showcases 50 African-American celebrities. What did you want the images um, in that book to relate to people? I want the entire book, the images, the, the, the interviews, the text, all to be inspirational, mm -hmm. um, aspirational at the same time. Um, I became a photographer by, by reading a book as a kid. I read about this book, I read this book on Gordon Parks, and before I read the book, it was, it was just a dream, basically. But then after reading his book, it made it real. I could see myself doing it after seeing this person doing it. And him telling his story was, was, was it for me. It turned my light bulb on. Wow. <laughs> so I wanted to do the same thing with a book. So I had the idea of doing sepia dreams and, and interviewing 50 people and getting their story, how they started, who inspired them, was it, was it hard, did they ever want to give up, all those things that, make, that we all think about when we're trying to make our dream come true. So sepia dreams is, of course, the vision, the people, but it's also the story, which is even more important, mm -hmm. telling stories about how you make it and how you don't stop, you don't give up. You're tenacious, it's all that. You actually mentioned um, uh, my next question is uh, <laughs> you are known to credit the late photographer Gordon Parks. Mm -hmm. um, how has he inspired you uh, besides for the uh, book? How has he inspired, inspired you? He's inspired me in many, many ways, mm -hmm. uh, even to this day. Gordon passed away when he was 94. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw him, I, I walked into his apartment. He lived at the uh, UN Tower in New York City, Midtown. And I walk into to see him. And before I can get in the door, he's 93 now, before I can get in the door, he grabs my arm, and he's pulling me in to see the first pages of his new book. He was like a kid at Christmas. And I'm like, you know what? I want to be like that when I'm his age, that passionate, uh, that excited about your work. So, you know, when, you, when you're an artist, photographer, when you make your living doing what you love, it shows, and it should show. Uh, I want to always love photography and be passionate about it, the same way Gordon was. So he's, he's always been an inspiration and still is. Great. In another recent interview, you mentioned that you want to make in images that are distinctively Matthew. Yes. <laughs> what exactly is a yes. Matthew image? Um, <laughs> I think lot. we're always trying to, to as, as a photographer, have a brand where people can look at the image and know without seeing my name or anything, know that it's, it's, a, it's a Matthew Jordan Smith shot. Mm -hmm. um, for me, that's having a connection to show beyond the surface, but show that inner smile that we all have. That's what I'm always striving to do, show the inner smile. Mm -hmm. So you have been honored by Kodak as an icon in photography. You're sponsored by Microsoft. You've been featured and TV so shows such as America's Next Top Model. <laughs> These are just some of the, some of the things <laughs> that you are um, recognized for. And uh, you've also taught your craft to others. Yes. Um, of all your accomplishments to date, what, what are you most proud of? Oh, wow, what am I most proud of? I, <laughs> uh, a lot, a lot. I'm very, I'm very thankful that I can make a living doing what I love first. Mm -hmm. I, think I'm, I think I'm blessed, number one that I can. I'm blessed that I have these great sponsors. And for me, it's, it's, it's not fate. I, I, I know where my blessings come from, and I'm very thankful for it. Um, having Microsoft, Sony, Kodak, and re very recently Epson come to me as sponsors, um, it's, that doesn't happen every day. Uh, I'm, only, I'm the only person in the world sponsored by Microsoft and Sony. That's, I don't take that for granted. Mm -hmm. um, I thank God for everything that he's given me, period. Uh, what am I most proud of? I'm proud that I can make a living doing what I love. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, what, um, who have you not worked with that you are, <laughs> are anxious to work with? Oh wow, there's a long list of people <laughs> I haven't worked with. Um, funny story. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I was called at the last minute to, to photograph Mandela in South Africa. And I had a confirmed assignment to photograph Michael Jordan and his family. I was flying out to do it. It was the same day. 
I couldn't turn down Michael Jordan. I already had the confirmation. They, I was, they were depending on me to come. Um, so I had to turn it down. Uh, I would love, love, love to photograph Mandela. Wow. There's a long list of people being <laughs> that. Uh, um, all the presidents that we've had that are still living. Mm -hmm. I would love to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Lena Horne again, and I photographed her before years ago. I'd love to photograph her again. There, there's a long list of people I'd love to mm -hmm. photograph for sure. With everything uh, moving to reality TV, um, mm. do you have any <laughs> plans to uh, do a photography uh, show? Uh, there are definitely uh, those thoughts are out there, and there are things in the works. So mm. we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> we have to dream big. I, on my blog, I always say dream big. So yes. uh, I'm dreaming big. And I, I wanted to mention your blog. Um, mm. You do one every day. I try to. I try to. When I'm traveling a lot, it's hard to, but uh, I try to put something on there. If it's, even if it's a paragraph or, or a sentence, I try to get something up there as often as possible mm -hmm. or tweet about my shoots, where I am, who I'm shooting, what we're doing, if we're in hair and makeup, if we're doing the first shot, if we're doing you know, a group shot, if it's the end of the day. I'm always trying to keep uh, people abreast of what's happening. So. Oh. And it's fun. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what do you... Um hope people learn the most from you in mm, your work. Mm. That you can make a living to what you love. Mm -hmm. That you don't have to go out and get a job to make a living and then have fun on the side. You, you can make your living doing what you love. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Just dream big and, and like my project, take the borders off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have Christian Slater. Um, on the screen. Is there any story behind? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Christian was, uh, uh, that was a fun day. We're shooting in New York by Central Park, and uh, we were just joking around the entire time and, and talking about women like guys do. Uh, and the next day, he's in the, he was in the news about an incident with a woman in, in the bar, but uh, it's just a fun day. We had a good time just getting along and, and relating, you know, man to man. Uh, that was shot for a cover of a magazine as well. And, uh, I mean, shooting in New York is always fun because people are around giving their comments and all that mm -hmm. stuff, and it was a good day. It was yeah. a good day. <laughs> and he's a cool guy. I've actually known because I, I read a lot of magazines and I see the credits at the bottom, and I noticed that you have shot Tyra numerous of times. Oh yes. Oh, um, yes. So what? Are you you all a personal friends? We're good friends. Okay. We're good friends. Uh, I met Tyra. Wow, a very long time ago, <laughs> at the beginning of her career, and. Uh, I've been new to shooting, but uh, the first time we got together to shoot, she was working a lot, I was working a lot, and we shot in my apartment in Brooklyn, and uh, we started shooting at like 11 at night, and we finished at like 2 in the morning, uh, and we've been working together ever since. Uh, I did her first calendar. Uh, back then, she wasn't the big supermodel, so she used her mileage to fly the entire crew down to Jamaica, and we spent a week shooting, and we had a great time. And, uh, now to see her become this, this, you know, this great entrepreneur, super models, mm -hmm. super businesswoman, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. But she's the same Tyra I've known for 15 years. She's a <laughs> very cool woman. And very beautiful, of course. Yes. <laughs> this picture of Tyra, mm -hmm. we, uh, we used to get together all the time and just, just shoot for ourselves. And this came from that. We got together and in this shot, she's actually wearing jeans and a tube top and her hair's pulled back in a ponytail. And it looks very casual. You see the shot behind the scenes of this shot. It's just her face done, but uh, mm. it's a shot that we both love to this day, quite a bit. <laughs> yes, it's a very nice shot. I shot uh, Aretha Franklin recently, and Aretha calls me and like, Matthew, can you do a picture of me like Tyra? <laughs> I'm like, sure, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke, very much. It's been a pleasure being here. And thank you for watching On Point. I'm Brooke Bennett. Which one is like, for you, like, that's my best cover? <laughs> mm. My best cover is a shot of Gordon Parks from the first time I shot him. Because it means the most to me. But I shot a lot of covers and, they, and they're all very special. Having a cover period for a photographer is a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I never get tired of having a cover. But uh, <laughs> that shot of Gordon Parks used as a cover for me was, was amazing.